Among the titans of speed, one car rose quietly from the shadows. A machine so extreme, it didn't just chase records, it redefined what electric power could do. Born not in Silicon Valley or Stuttgart, but in the heart of Japan, this wasn't supposed to happen, yet it did. They called it the Owl, a silent predator built to hunt speed itself. Japan's Aspark began its journey in 2005 with an audacious goal, to build an all-electric hypercar that shattered speed and acceleration records. Founder Masanori Yoshida envisioned a new value creation through monozukri, the art of craftsmanship, and by 2015 the first sketches and prototypes of the Aspark Owl were underway. This sleek carbon fiber rocket would quietly emerge over the next decade as a midnight blue missile disguised in hypercar elegance. The OWL project kicked into high gear when the concept debuted at the 2017 Frankfurt Motor Show. Shortly thereafter, in early 2018 testing, a prototype OWL stormed from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 1.89 seconds on a closed track, an unreal burst of acceleration powered by 1,480 kilowatts, nearly 2,000 horsepower, and about 2,000 newton meters of torque. By late 2019, it was clear this hypercar was no novelty. A test run on race tires shaved the 0 to 60 miles per hour mark to only 1.69 seconds, and the prototype's price tag was set at a cool $3.1 million. In other words, the Aspark Owl was already rewriting the rulebook for electric performance. Aspark then partnered with Italy's MAT to bring the Owl from prototype to road-ready hypercar. Under MAT's careful craftsmanship, just 50 of the Owls would be built. The production version retained its record-chasing spirit. It packed four motors delivering roughly 1,456 kilowatts, with astonishing torque figures on paper well over 6,000 newton meters combined. A 69 kilowatt hour liquid-cooled lithium-ion battery pack, similar to high-voltage architecture, fed the motors at around 800 volts, giving a range on paper of roughly 400 kilometers. Yet the Owl's real calling card was speed. In development testing, it posted about 1.78 seconds for 0 to 100 kilometers per hour and was electronically limited to 413 kilometers per hour top speed. The car's lightweight design, a carbon fiber monocoque and dry mass near 1,900 kilograms with double wishbone suspension, let it launch like a rocket while still being road legal. Even in cruising, it was a monster, and on the drag strips in Britain, in mid-2023, the Owl blazed to new Guinness World Records for EV speed, averaging over 318 kilometers per hour on the quarter and 309 kilometers per hour on the eighth. By 2024, the original Owl had earned its reputation as a fastest accelerating car, and it was time to aim even higher, literally. Aspark unveiled an ultra-fast variant called the Owl SP600, specially engineered to break the EV top speed record. Every detail was honed, from polished double wishbone suspension and active ride height control to massive carbon ceramic brakes. Under that matte skin, the SP600 packed roughly the same powertrain, around 1,950 horsepower from four motors, but with calibration and cooling optimized for all-out velocity. By June 2024, all preparations converged on Germany's automotive testing Papenburg ATP high-speed track. Basang strapped in the SP600 prototype and unleashed it down the 2.4-mile straight. In two preliminary runs, the car exceeded 420 km per hour, then 430 km per hour, comfortably eclipsing the previous Remac Nevera benchmark. Finally, on June 8th, in a flawless second attempt, the Owl SP600 pierced the track's limits. The RaceLogic V-Box confirmed a stunning 438.7 km per hour top speed. This run unofficially made it the world's fastest production intent EV of its time, besting the Remax 2022 mark by 16.6 miles per hour. To put it colorfully, the SP600 turned that Poppenberg straight into a runway and rocketed down at over 270 miles per hour, crowned officially by Guinness as the fastest electric hypercar on Earth.
It has been about 10 years since we started working on the OWL hypercar, CEO Masanori Yoshida reflected immediately after the record run. The SP600 kept the OWL's ultra-efficient motors and battery, but turned the dial to 11 for speed, using a 64 kilowatt hour pack at around 800 volts and four high torque motors. It matched the road car's approximately 1,475 pound-feet of torque per motor while shedding any road car limitations. For example, the SP600 has no mirrors, no license plates, and a purely track-focused setup. The result was unprecedented outright velocity. That summer of 2024 performance vaulted the SP600 to celebrity among supercars, but the story didn't end there. By late 2025, a new contender had grabbed global headlines. China's BYD via its high-end Yang Wang brand pushed the envelope further. The limited-run Yang Wang U9 Extreme surged to an official 496.22 km per hour, 308.4 miles per hour, top speed at Papenburg in August 2025. It wasn't just a straight-line monster. A few weeks later, the U9 Extreme lapped the Nürburgring in 6 minutes, 59.157 seconds, the first EV under 7 minutes. In one sense, this means the OWL SP600's record has since been surpassed. Yet Aspark's achievement remains a milestone. The SP600 was the first electric hypercar to reach into the 270 plus miles per hour range on pavement. Enthusiasts note that car speed records leapfrogged in the 300 plus miles per hour era, and Aspark is still in that race. Looking ahead, Aspark shows no sign of slowing. In fact, the company has continued the OWL saga in 2025. In September 2025 at the Lion Auto Show, they premiered the new OWL Roadster, an open-top version of the hypercar, reinforcing that the OWL platform is the brand's future. Masanori Yoshida personally oversaw the Roadster's design, capturing the OWL's silent precision and fierce power in a striking new form. Meanwhile, speculation among fans suggests Aspark's engineers may already be eyeing a new horizon, perhaps a next-level SP variant or software tweaks, to challenge the 300-plus miles per hour club. Whatever happens, the technical legacy of the OWL SP600 is clear. It proved an electric supercar could match and even outpace the fastest combustion beast in a straight-line drag, rewiring expectations for EV performance. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.